Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat, and what I'm going to be doing today is something different. Usually, I do a review on a game, but what I'm going to be comparing is the difference between Western MMORPGs and Asian MMORPGs. And the reason for this is, you know, I play both of these kind of games, and a lot of times you see on the forums, people say things like um, that they're not going to try a game because, you know, it's Asian, and um, most Asian games are pretty grindy, which isn't something I disagree. I don't disagree with that. Asian games usually they take a lot longer to get to the level cap. But that ne that isn't necessarily a bad thing, and I'm going to explain some of the differences. I mean, in the Western game, usually there's a lot less grind um, to get to the level cap, and a lot of the f a lot of the features though aren't available until you um, finally hit the level cap. And right now I'm just in World of Warcraft. I figured I had to record something while I was talking about this. So, you know, in when you hit the level cap in a game like this, that's when you can start doing most of the serious stuff in the game, like raiding and um, the more serious PvP in the game. And Asian games are a little bit different, but they are pretty similar if you really think about it. In an Asian game, um, most of this high most of the high end content you don't actually need to be level capped for. And that's one of the reasons um I don't think that people shouldn't play an Asian game because uh, just because it's grindy. Because you don't actually have to be um, level capped. And a lot of people are way too focused on hitting the level cap in a game. And you really don't need to be to do the high-end content. Lots of games where uh, Asian games where you can start doing the raids and stuff, but you just don't need to be um, you don't need to be at the highest level possible. And let's see if I could actually fight and talk at the same time. But um, the thing is, um, guys, you can actually still level in an Asian game and work on the end game content at the same time. So it kind of gives you like another another goal. One of my problems when I play Western games is right when I hit the level cap, I feel like after um, after just like you know a few weeks of doing the end game content, I do feel a little bored with the game because I don't really feel like I can go anywhere with it. I feel like in an Asian game, like I can work on, I can raid and stuff and work on the end game content, but uh, it's not obviously all games aren't the same. Keep that in mind. So, um, but in a lot of Asian games, though, you can work on the end game content and you continue leveling, so it kind of gives you like another extra thing um, to work on at the same time. And one thing, th another thing that's definitely different is the features in the games are a little bit different. Asian games do tend to have more features, but um, one thing about the features is some of them are pretty, a lot of them are going to be pretty poorly made and kind of weird and don't really mix well with MMORPG. Um, in games like Battle of Immortals, uh, King of Kings 3, those are two games I played, they have like some, they have some weird ass features. I gotta admit, the Asians throw in some weird stuff, but um, there's like uh, tests and stuff that you can do to give you experience that are like certain times of the day like and they're just tests they have nothing to do with the game really it's just like it honestly it's like fucking like physics physics questions and stuff and obviously they don't have anything to do with the game but one thing I do like about it is that um it gives you something else to do I like that they at least try to give you some extra stuff to do other than just raiding and PvP I feel like Asian games do give you a little more of, a little more of a choice but some of the stuff can be pretty bad and a lot of the Asian games I do admit a lot of the features are pretty poorly put together but they do tend to try to throw out more features at you other than just you know a little PvP and PvE content so I mean the thing that I'm trying to point out is that Asian games and Western games are pretty similar in the fact that you um, that you can experience end game content pretty much at about the same time but the only difference is in the Asian game you're just not at the level cap. And uh, that really is a problem for a lot of people. A lot of people go into these games and they try to hit the level cap as quick as possible. And if you're that kind of person, you're probably not... Don't even try an Asian game because the level... And the majority of them hitting the level cap takes a lot, a lot longer. And they try to make the expansions come out right away just so that people can't hit the level cap. So only the most dedicated people do. If you're that kind of person, it's not worth playing. But if... um. If you're just playing games to have fun, and that's basically what you really should be playing a game for anyway, you should um you should give them a shot. Not just because you shouldn't think of them that they're grindy. You should think of it as you know, I mean it's just a different game, and you shouldn't be worried about your actual level, because you can really experience the same thing as the people that are higher level than you at a lower level. So it really isn't a big deal. But anyways, guys, I'd really like to hear um your opinions on it. So feel free to comment. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to, uh, you know, like it, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.